Full game Prometheus giving you another full game recap. Once again, I'm going to be rolling with the um, run heavy formation alternative playbook on my offense and, and defense. I'm going to be using, once again, the multiple D. I'm going to be switching things up and be running more of a 3 4 in this series or in this gameplay just because I started labbing uh, different looks. Uh, I could establish some pressure against my opponent. So uh, switching from like a cover 4 to cover 3, cover 2 and occasional man blitzes. I think I used more coverages than anything else here. So just want to get a feel for my opponent. Um, I'm rolling down my safety as my base play and actually going ahead and, and flipping into a coverage from there. So that's essentially my, my defensive scheme. This guy tried to establish a run against me initially. He tried a couple different formations, but then he jumped into strong close pretty much in the, in the second half of this game, um, which was his primary form, uh, formation when I started getting some, uh, getting some pressure against this guy. But this guy was a gambler. Uh, he made, he threw sometimes into coverage, so uh, he didn't really, he, he wasn't like the best player. He made fast reads, he, he would he would actually go ahead and make some pretty good reads uh, right here at another drop pattern. So right here, fourth and tenth situation, I go with the 52 blitz because I've had a tendency, he flips the play, he's got basically three defender, or three wide receivers off the left. I probably should have went ahead and uh, blitzed my right side and used the other linebacker just because he's got four wide receivers right there and he causes some matchup problems. Goes to the flat, gets a nice little animation, and it takes off for the races to get the ball into the red zone on a 4th and 10 situation where I had an opportunity to go ahead and stop him. He actually goes for it. And then right here uh, goes just, <laughs> this guy was extremely aggressive, goes for a 2 point uh, play right there with a little pitch play. So I knew that I'm going to get a lot of opportunities from this guy. Anybody that plays like that 4th and 10 situation goes for it, uh, hits a flat route, uh, goes, for, uh, goes for a 2 point conversion right away in the game. He's a very aggressive player. And as a result, uh, I know I'm going to get some opportunity. So right here, I have a drop pattern, but that route, which is going to be that tight end route, is going to be open the entire game. And I didn't want to go to it too much, uh, uh, primarily because I didn't want him to bait me into throwing interceptions. So I always, ha I knew that it was in my back pocket if I needed to get a completion. Uh, but um, I, the way he was running his, his defense, he was running primarily cover three, hard flats, and he was making adjustments out of that. So there was a lot of holes in the seams or some holes in different parts of the defense. Uh, the flats would stay hard or play cloud flats. So uh, I, I knew I was actually in a pretty good situation because he didn't really adjust too much. He did some random pressure um, and he had some pressure off the edge right here. So right here the ball actually sails on my defender or uh, into his defender's hand and he's able to come up with an interception. So down eight to nothing in this type of situation he comes out of strong close right here and throws the ball right back to me. You're going to see me get some pretty easy ugly interceptions. Ugly interceptions because he actually tested my user um, and it it's a tough situation where he, you, I didn't feel like this guy was any better, but you're going to see this game start becoming really, really out of hand. So right there he gets a nice hit stick. Um, I don't know if it was a user hit stick or it was a CPU uh, hit stick, but because of that, uh, he's able to go ahead and get the ball back um, on that, that play right here. Goes right back to flats with the wheel, uh, with the wheel play. And comes back to that. Now I'm going to cover three, hard up the flats. Got a couple defenders over the middle, just take away some of those middle routes. And he throws the ball up. It comes down with it, down on the one yard line. And then right here just goes a little inside run, uh, inside zone. He's able to go, and go up 15 to nothing um, in the going into the second quarter right here. So. I try pitch play. Uh, his defense, Chargers defense online is one of the better defenses. Uh, their linebackers are not the best. Their defensive tackles are not that great. But the outside de uh, defensive ends, not the fastest, but are playmakers. And you're going to see players like Bosa. You're going to see Ingram in the backfield against me the entire time. So right here, uh, I go back into uh, the, the tight, strong, tight formation. 
I'm looking for the crossers. Right here, the crossers wide open, but the ball gets dropped right there by my tight end. So I come back into uh, a spot route out of the uh, tight end bunch, throw it right by his user. I actually get a nice little animation. So he's able to go and get myself a nice little completion of first down situation. So I, I go back to table route, and I know I've got that that route right here, and I'm just possession catching it. When I, when I try the racket earlier, the ball would get popped out because his defenders were just hitting me hard. Knocking balls out, not giving me an opportunity. Nice little draw play right there uh, to actually get the ball a little bit closer. Second and five situation right here. Uh, I think I'm still in a draw um, in this particular play. I'm faking audibles because I want my opponent not to think I'm going to run the ball. And I'm able to go and get a nice little first down right there, get the ball down to the three-yard line. And I do um, an off tackle. Usually I like to have a draw play as my main run right there um, in this type of situation. But uh, right here I go into the levels concept. I've got a couple uh, levels right here. But look at look at his defensive ends. Bosa just contains me, pushes me back into Ingram, and his guys just come after me, and there's nothing I can do about it. So right here, a third and goal situation, long field. The ball sails on me, and I need to get some points on the board. I know, I think I'm going to get some opportunities against this guy, uh, so I need to put points on the board because he actually he took that two-point conversion. So it's not stu it's, uh, it's going to be a long game. And the way he actually played, I just I felt like I had to get the, get those three points right there just to get the points on the board. So he actually throws the ball right here. He throws it right back at me, and I'm able to get the ball right back there. So just a basic cover four shell with clouds, uh, and he actually throws across the field. So now I do a levels concept right here. I block my running back to give myself a little bit more time. Now, plenty of time. The crosser by Ridley gets across the middle. I'm able to get the ball down to the 20, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Work the clock down right here. Now, this is a play that I use, and I, I didn't read it right. The flat was wide open. He still gets a block shot. I was actually trying to look over to the left, and I just misread it. That that play was wide open. The flat was wide open, and it didn't play correctly. He brings the pressure off the left-hand side. I hit the running back right here, and I do not get the spin move against his, his CPU uh, defender. So that's just a bad play right there. So third and 12 situation. Wheel up Coleman on the back end side, and I think right here I, I left the play stock right here. And once again, look at look at the defensive uh, defensive ends just coming off my blocks. They were killing, killing my tackles, and because of it, I missed the field goal. And I left some time, just garbage time, uh, uh, because I actually took a timeout right there. I think that was just kind of a poor decision. I should have probably just uh, let the ball, uh, let the clock run down a little bit, or at least not give him an opportunity. He goes across the field right here. I actually knocked the ball out. 13 seconds left. I, I figured I'm just going to stay with the pressure right here. Uh, the pressure actually comes in. He throws it right back at me with 10 seconds left, 9, 8, eight seconds left in the half. And I'm just going to go ahead and try to hang the ball up right here and try to hit him for a big play. Um, and right here, Bosa just sacked me. So Bosa's already got th uh, three sacks. I think he had like 20 sacks. I just He was just killing my tackle completely. So right here, go back to the crossing route, and I figured he's not going to go to the backside, but I threw right into his user. I figured the backside would be wide open because I hit him on the other side, and I just threw it right to his guy. That was just a bad read. I sh you, you never test someone's user if you really don't do that. So right here, a cover four blitz. Easy blitz to set up. He wasn't seeing it. He missed his read. He had a running back in a, down a little hitch route underneath. So he comes back at it. I got a crossfire blitz going on right here. Pressure comes off the edge, but he hits. He dumps it off to the running back right here. And actually, I go ahead and just, uh, just triangle tackle him right there with my defenders. Back to the cover two shell with the blitz. Uh, once again, it's, it's so easy to go and change things up. And actually throws it, lobs it right over my guy and actually comes down with it uh, to get a, a first and goal type of situation. He goes into the strong tight formation himself, goes a little pitch play, and it's over with. So he's up 21-3 uh, with three minutes left in second quarter in our third quarter. And I'm just feeling like I, I, I can beat this guy. This guy's making mistakes. He's, he's being very aggressive in this game. Uh, his user, like he's not, like he's his his defensive be defensive ends are playing really good, but I, I just feel like I can get this guy. Just, there was something about him, the way he played. Uh, there was opportunities I get. So right here, the ball sails on me a little bit. I go to this play. This is one really really good decision. I go ahead and take uh, I think Jones and actually streak him up. And right here, I get a lucky break right there. He actually he pulled he pulled this defender out of the way area, and I'm able to go drop it down. And that's a play I don't really use a lot in this scheme. 
right here another Bosa sack so it was like this guy was just killing me Bosa was killing me right here and I figured the seam was gonna be wide open right here and you can see he's wide open to throw the ball lead us defensive back come over and swipe that ball out that should have been a completion if Jones was on that side I'm sure Jones would have came down with it or across the catch it so I'm actually shading my cover my, my blocking off to the right I'm actually IDing the mic I got a crossing run on the back inside. Defender follows him, and I'm able to go get a completion in a third down situation. So 50 seconds left right here. Got the deep comeback route. I've got a streaker right there, um, and I drop it down to the flat. His defender actually comes down and plays the flat perfectly and actually takes just gobbles that up. I have Coleman off the right-hand side, and I whipped up uh, Sanu on the right uh, on the other side right there because I knew the wheel route wouldn't be covered. So look at this play right here. I'm going to go and catch that, get a nice hold, uh, hold on to the completion, get it down to the 10-yard line. So that was a huge play for me. And I think I took Ridley right here. I just streaked him up. I figured he's going to go in the back in the end zone. I'm just going to highball the ball back during this type of situation because I've got a corner, I've got a flat, and a lot of times in cover three you're going to get this opportunity. So right here I come down with it. We're actually I think into the fourth quarter now. Four minutes and 15 seconds down, uh, 15 seconds left. Um, I'm in a situation where I'm going to go for two just to give me an opportunity to be uh, within a 10, uh, 10 point striking distance right here. Bad uh, two point conversion. Didn't, didn't get what I'm looking for. So back to the cover two shell showing him cover three. I'm trying to mess up his reads. I, I kept on going kind of back to the same shells again. And he actually goes with a little mesh concept. He's able to go and get a first down right there. So uh, easy completion, no huddles. Why you no know huddling when you're in a lead by, t by two scores? It's stupid to do that. You just That's why I felt like I could actually get this guy. So look at us. He actually takes off with, with, with the, his quarterback. His quarterback just trips, falls over. Are we, we're going to go ahead and tackle him for a six-yard gainer. I come back with the cover four shell right here, press my guys down, and the pressure comes in, and I actually go and sack him, get him into a third and long situation. So he goes back to the huddle right here. I've got a crossfire blitz, put a bunch of yellows in the zones, but I don't have anybody in the flats. He's able to pick up a first down right there, three minutes and 42 seconds left. Why this guy is ro ro rolling with this, this offense right now is beyond me. So a uh, little crossing route with the, with the, the switch full, fullback switch right there. He actually gets it down. Um, second and two situation. Once again, going with the pressure and actually throws it into the flat, makes a nice little spin move, and then actually breaks past one of my def uh, my defenders and gets the ball into the end zone. So down three scores again. Down three scores again. Three minutes and 23 seconds left. I'm thinking I should just shut this game off, but something about me, I just felt like this guy is not that good. I can probably pull this game out. I just got to keep playing because he's going to make mistakes. The guy doesn't make the, the cleanest decision. So right here, I actually wait for the tight end actually get wide open, rack the ball, get it down to the 25-yard, uh, no huddle. You go back to the crossing route. I actually switched up the crossing route, uh, crossing play in this formation a little bit. I just I, I like this the flow of this play. I think it runs a little bit better. And I've got uh, I've got I don't have a dead route on the back end side. So right here, go back to uh, the spot route right here. And I'm looking for the deep corner, and I'm getting sacked by Ingram, or by his defensive back. That was actually a good play right there. So once again, jump into uh, the, uh, the, the the slot option route right here. And right here, actually go ahead and drop it down um, to the end zone. So get, in, get the ball in the end zone. So uh, down, two scores right here it, with two minutes left. He actually throws it right back to me again. So this guy was just making bad decisions, and it was just like, why does this guy? He just let it. He should, what, he should be running the ball. He should be running the ball. This game is pretty much tied up. He's outplayed me in the first three quarters, and I'm just crawling back into this game right here. So back to the tight end corner. I, I try to hit the running back the, uh, underneath, and he actually he was floating underneath that guy. And once again, I get sacked by Bosa because Bosa is a beast in this game. I just streak up Jones, aggression, aggressive catch the ball. Jones comes up big and actually gets the ball down to the two-yard line. Once again, no huddle. I think I go into a draw play right here, show him a different formation. It's just about the draw, and I'm able to get the ball in the end zone right there. Uh, down by one score. So I'm down by one score. I try to do an onside kick. He goes in and takes a timeout. Doing another onside kick right here. And right here, actually, uh, he gets the ball back. So, uh, first and ten situation. We're going again, once again, with the cover two shell. I get a nice tackle right there. So, this he didn't spin out. So, I take a timeout. Trying to uh, basically protect the clock as much as possible. I got the blitz set up over here. I actually go ahead and do, I put a little spot route. and actually throws it once again to my guy. 
trying to pick him off again. He just got me back into this game, and he's just playing stupid. So right here, I go into the into uh, the, uh, the 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 table right off the right hand side. The tight end's always going to be open. Just do a little possession catch. I'm going to no huddle. Go ahead and jump into uh, this tight end corner route. Uh, the flat, he actually took away the flat. He took away the deep corner. And right here, I get a nice catch. Big CPU catch right there by Julio Jones. And that's why you got a stud like that on your team. I haven't had a lot of people, a lot of Julio bailing me out in games. But I can tell you this one. This is the game where Julio bails me out. So the clock's chewing down. 18 seconds left. I streak up Julio. Nice little aggressive catch. And look at the catch right here. One hands it. Drops down into the red zone and holds on to the ball to give me an opportunity to kick an extra point and go up by 15 nothing. So that's pretty much it. This you know this guy this guy was up by three scores pretty much the entire game for the last two minutes. I'm able to go and pull it out uh, based on his bad decision making. He should have been running the clock out. He should have been choking me out. But he gives me an opportunity to go ahead and get back into this game. So once again, my subscribers, thank you for your support, guys. I really appreciate it. I'll be rolling out some more videos uh, soon enough. And until next time.